hello. Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. I'm sitting here at my laptop in the living room and I'm going through some of my pictures and you know, can you see the windows of this huge ship that are in the sky? That is in the sky. You know, they, they do, they cloak themselves with the cloud is what they do. You can see, you can get a pretty good idea of how big it is compared to this light pole. And it's not normal clouds because normal clouds would not look like that. They would not have these windows in them like this does. Uh, they would not. Um, I just saw a picture that someone shared and uh, there was like a big UFO in the sky and it had these long windows in it. Um, and I'm just thinking, these probably are great big round ships um, with these long windows, with these windows all around them. But just think, the sky is a perfect place for them to cloak themselves. It really is. It's absolutely a perfect place. Um, you can see smaller ships down here. They're, they're straight. They look like clouds, but they're not. They are cloaked in the clouds. Um, that's what they are. They're in here. They're all in here. And I know a lot of people see, like, look at down here. Look at this all the way across. That is the part of the great big ship. It really is. It's not a cloud. It isn't. I'm telling you right now, it is not a cloud. And for all of you all who have been looking up in the sky, hello. Uh, for all of you who have been looking up in the sky and think, well, I, that looks like windows up in the sky. There couldn't possibly be windows up in the sky because the sky only has clouds. <laughs> No, the sky has more than clouds. The sky has ships uh, that are cloaked in the clouds, as you can see. Look how, look how straight it is uh, going all the way across at the bottom. Uh, and then you have the windows up here at the top, all, all throughout there. I'm going to go to the next screen right here if I can, if it will let me. I'll see. Okay, I went to the next screen, and I, it's, it doesn't have the yellow dots around it, which I like to use to mark it. But, um, yeah. Um, these ships, they're real. They really are. They're very, very real. You can see like a ship like cloaked right here in the sky, but, and, and you can see some more like this, but yeah, look at that. Look at that. How could someone say that these aren't ships? I don't know how they can say that unless, you know, they really, they really can't see it. Uh, that's what I'd like to say. They really cannot see the ships in the clouds because they really don't know what they're looking at. Uh, and they haven't stepped into this arena. You have seen them for years, a lot lately. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so there is a lot of people um, who haven't seen them. And just the mere fact to hear somebody talking about seeing ships up in the sky, and they think, man, this person's done lost it. But, you know, it, it, we haven't lost it. We haven't lost it at all uh, because um, these ships do exist. I'm finally sitting down here in my living room uh, and not up there in that loft area. I think finally I get to sit down here in the living room and relax. Um, oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. I hope everybody's doing well. I really do. Um, but I wanted to share that picture with you for those, you know, there's, there's different types of ships in the sky because there's different species uh, that are up there in the sky, different races of extraterrestrials. And someone uh, once told me early on, uh, please do not refer to the extraterrestrials as aliens because it's kind of offensive. Uh, and it, I'm sure it is offensive uh, to be called an alien <laughs> if you are an extraterrestrial. So I really don't mean any disrespect, but I thought this was rather... Uh, quite interesting, um, uh, and it is important to share uh, what we see up in the sky because a lot of people may not see it. Hello. Um, well, there's quite possibly are chariots of the most high up there in the sky. I, I'm not going to tell you that there isn't because <laughs> I would be lying. I would be lying, and no, there are, there are chariots up there too, um, and you know they may have different shapes. Um, the ships are getting closer. They really are. Um, uh, and I think the reason they're getting closer is because uh, things are speeding up on this earth. They really are. Just like this right here with these windows. And um, you think 
Um, what do they look like inside these ships? What do, what type, is that an extraterrestrial's head right here? Let me see if I can do this. Is this, this an extraterrestrial's head right here, like a round head? And it very well could be, uh, I'm serious, like an eye here and an eye here. Uh, and they don't look like us, they don't, but you know, I'm sure they have, they have a body, we have a body, and our bodies may not all look the same. Uh, that's what I'd like to say, they don't. Um, yeah. People think outer space and believe that they are in the, uh, you believe that they reasons. Um, yeah, I think they do reside in the oceans too. You know, there's a reason uh, that we haven't really explored hardly any of the oceans. Doesn't that, like, make someone think, why haven't we had the technology to explore the oceans uh, more than what they say we have? Uh, the oceans are very deep, okay, and a lot of the oceans are not explored. So they say, I just like the universe. The only, only place we went was to the moon, if in fact we did go to the moon. I don't know about that. I don't know if we went to the moon. I know it looks like they have a, a people putting a flag on the moon and then the flag waving. Uh, if there's no gravity, how can it wave or something like that? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't. This is a, it's just a, a lot going on and it's a lot to put together. It really is. Um, but I, I did want to share this um, picture with you um, that I had taken in the sky because I had saw a picture that someone shared uh, with uh, a ship with uh, windows in the clouds. Uh, and, and indeed, they're great big giant ones, too. Uh, I make these yellow dots. You know, you can go into... Here's what I do. If I want to... I don't like to really circle things, so I will go up here in the edit. If you go into the edit feature and you go into the um, draw... Well, what I do, I will just like choose like this. I'll choose this little pencil thing and I'll hit this. And then I'll just, that's how I like to circle. I'll go like that. That's all it is. Uh, and I think it looks a lot better. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just gonna exit out because I'm not gonna save it because I don't, um, I want to leave without saving because I don't wanna mess up my photo. Yeah, but that's all right. I don't mind. I don't mind explaining. I really do not mind explaining uh, because it's a it's an honest question. It really is. Uh, but and maybe people did not know that they could um, go into that feature with the edit and do their drawing like that. Uh, it's like that TV show. Something's like a TV show. Uh, great to capture. Shape shifting entities um you know what that footage of the moon i took every single picture that i took with my camera last night while i was doing a live video uh blurry every single picture and the videos every single video is blurry i'm thinking that they have the technology to make your pictures blurry if you have digital um and that's exactly what happened i was kind of disappointed in it uh but i had fun out there and the mosquitoes once i um Put that ointment on my hands. I didn't itch at all. Um, but um, I was looking at some photos and videos that I took of the moon the other night when it had the red. And um, when I was saying there are entities in the sky, there are entities and beings in the sky, there was this, um, I don't know if it was UFO or if it was a sky being. It was in my video. Uh, it, it started from the top of the moon and it flew straight down. Uh, and it kind of looked like it had the shape of a cube, but it literally went down so fast. And it was silhouetted. It was like a silhouette, but it was like moving so fast from the top of the moon to the bottom of the moon. And after that, uh, the, you could see this little bitty, it looked like a black dot, hopping around from like landmark to landmark on the moon. And so I thought, well, I'm going to do a video of that. So I was doing a video of it. And... When I recorded the screen and stuff, you could not make out the one jumping around from side to side. So then I got a tad bit disappointed. I thought, I'm not even going to do the video. Uh, but you could clearly see uh, the entity or sky being that literally went from the top of the moon. It came down so fast. It was silhouetted. Uh, and it really didn't look solid. And sometimes those cubes on the uh, stereo heads thing, they don't look solid either because you can see right through them. 
Um, but that was in one of my live footage uh, when I was doing footage of the moon. And I was going to work on that tonight, and I did work on it. And I thought, well, now they make it to where you can't even make out the little fine features. And I thought, well, I could do a live video, but then would, that, would that distort the little fine features? Uh, no, entiendo, no entiendo nada para ya de mi like. Uh, no habla español. No hay de qué. Um, hola. Um, uh, the streaming is blurry. Uh, is everyone have a blurry streaming right now? Um, uh, yeah, I am from Salem, Indiana. Um, no. Yeah, you can see it if I do it live. That's right. Um, everybody, ha everybody has a blurry screen right now. You've got to be kidding. Sometimes it's blurry. Well, you know what? This is what I've noticed often, often on all day today. Whenever I would go watch a video or something, I've got that spinning circle. And I'm thinking, what is going on? Because I really don't know what's going on. And I've just knocked my case off my laptop here. Uh, but that's all right. That is quite all right. It really is. It's all right, and I will get over it. Um, but yeah, I thought that picture was very interesting. I'm, I'm trying to get back to it because I closed up my laptop um, so that I can find it again somewhere, um, somewhere over the rainbow. Bluebirds fly. I've got to. I've got to try to go through here. Y you all can watch. It's blurry again. Um, they're doing it on purpose. That's what I want you to know. They are making my video blurry on purpose. Unplug my internet connection from the wall. Uh, what? No, that's not my problem. It really is not my problem uh, that the internet connection from the wall is like that. They're, they're uh, deliberately doing this because I've never had this problem before of a blurriness happening. I really have not. Oh, my voice is glitching. That's about right. Are we still on? Still on? Um, um, yeah, they are causing interference. Are, can you all hear me now? Um, it is still buffering. Oh, it's perfect. Well, this is what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. So, um, I, all I did was, um, you unplugged your Wi-Fi a few times. So all I did was I went off my, um, YouTube. Well, what did I do? I went to another screen and I came back and it was really, it was red. It was red at the top. There was a red line at the top. And then when I came back on here, there's not an alien right behind me. I don't have any extraterrestrials in my house. Now, I could have spirits in my house. You never know. Looks kind of, um, who knows? You are the Andromeda Fleet Commander of the Universe. Um, John, John Rich, Jonas Richardson. Um, I've met a lot of commanders. Well, not a lot, probably around um, seven or eight. Yeah, they said they was going to come pick me up. I was thinking, okay, <laughs> you come pick me up. Um, yeah, I've heard that those ships can hold uh, up to 5,000 people on one ship. That's what I've heard, up to 5,000 people on one ship uh, with that. Um, yeah. Well, um, I am going to, hello, everyone. Um, you have me, you have you at 720 some pixelating. Okay. Um, it's worse as I move around and you're breaking up a little. Well, I can tell you what, that they are really doing it. I want to move around because this is, <laughs> this is for the birds. It really, this back on, um, they are, they are interfering and it is buffering. 
They like it to buffer. <laughs> they really do. Nothing now. Yeah, don't, 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 don't. No, I'm not going to go searching for ghosts in my house. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I think I could feel right inside of here. I can feel any negative energy, any positive energy. I can sense it. So I'm not going to go searching anything. I really am not. It's buffering again. Well, I guess what? I guess I need to get off here since it's still buffering. Whoo! Yeah, positive thoughts. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, I can't show you the ship again because I've closed my laptop and my, my case was falling off my laptop, so I closed it down. Uh, don't you think it's any spirits of entity? Or you just think it's YouTube? Oh, I don't think there's any spirits in my house doing it. It's YouTube. Uh, that's what I know it is. Uh, and we might have some storms in the sky. I don't know. Let me see. Um, White Okano, don't go. I'm going to see if there's anything outside. Uh, I don't see anything outside. See how pitch black it gets you all? You can see this, but only because it's like this. This humidity is back up at night. It goes up to like 90%. And the barometric pressure, look at it. It's setting right there, and the temperature is setting right there. But this moon, I can tell. Let's, let's look at this. I hope I don't run into a spider web. I don't even know if... See how they have made my phone so blurry? The moon is trying to come up over here, and you can't see it. That's because they've made this so, so blurry out here. Um, oh, I will hang in there. I'm still here. <laughs> Can I last two more years? I hope so. Uh, that's, that's if they don't shut down the internet. Uh, they're shaking. Somebody is shaking. You all got lightning? Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Oh, it is much better outside. I like it. I like the outside and i hear the crickets now we're blurry again i'm not looking blurry on here i'm not even getting a thing that's twirling around like that normally i would get something that would be twirling around in a circle um yeah oh i'm not go stay where i am Tie 2000, I'm very blurry, or Tie two, 200, it sounds nice there, it is nice, and I'm not getting bit by mosquitoes right now, even though um, the humidity is like 90%, um, the Schumann Resonance appeared, watch out, media, oh, it's got a nice breeze blowing, it really does, oh, it feels really nice, um, uh, can I fly? Can I try? I do have 3G. I do have 4G. Uh, I have uh, stuff like I have something on my phone. But if I come outside, I have to be connected to our extender. So that's what I'm on right now, my extender. Um, I am coming in real clear. I'm glad I am because I want to be real clear. I really do. Um, it is better. I'll tell you what. It's so nice. I have a breeze blowing. And it feels really nice out here. Um, that is so wonderful. So, yeah, uh, if you missed it earlier, there was I was showing a picture of a great big long ship in the sky with windows, a roll of windows in the sky. Uh, and the average person would look up there and they wouldn't see, they wouldn't know, they'd think it was clouds. But um, if you have been in this area of study uh, and you looked at the various types of UFOs, you would know that there are great big long UFOs that have big rows of windows uh, and they quite possibly could be uh, circular we know that there are circular uh, UFOs but I think there are long UFOs with windows in them too um, quite possibly maybe the long white ships uh, uh, well you're very welcome oh you can see the veil with the lightning Whoo! 
It is, um, it's humid out here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna have to take a nap at six o'clock. I was thinking, I am so tired. I, I don't wanna go to bed early and I wanna have enough energy to last. Um, yeah. Whoo. Oh, I love you all too. I wish you all could feel this breeze because it feels nice. I, I, I would take away the humidity, but you know what? I was thinking today, um, there are people who don't like to go outside when it's hot and it's humid. They don't want to sweat. Um, they would rather stay in the air conditioning and some, granted, have uh, health issues. Uh, but you know, when I was sitting outside, I thought, well, I don't want to come out here earlier when I was working in my shed. I thought, I don't want to come out here. It's so sticky. It's not sticky in the house and I won't get hot. But then you know what? I thought, you know, I'm not living. I'm not living. Uh, if I don't come out here, I want to feel what life's about. I want to feel it. <laughs> if, 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 I, if the humidity is out there and I want to work, it doesn't matter if I get sweaty. It doesn't matter if it's sticky out. It doesn't matter if it's hot. Uh, at least I am knowing what it feels like to be human uh, and experience the elements uh, all around me with the weather. So, yeah, I was thinking that. I thought, no, I would not want to be the person who had the choice of staying in the house or going out of the house when they're perfectly fine, but they just didn't want to go out because they might get a little uncomfortable with sweat or might get a little hot. Uh, but I want to live my life. I really do. And I want to experience uh, life. Now, if it was really, really hot, I wouldn't stay out here until I passed out. But I, I, don't, I don't mind. I really don't mind doing any of that because it, it's all about the experience uh, here on the earth. Ah, uh, yeah, it really is. Um, oh, there's a lot of people who are tired, a ton of people. Uh, and I could get tired too myself, but I just want to push through that tiredness. I want to tell my, my mind wants to tell my body, no, you're not tired. You get up, you get moving. Uh, that's this mind over body for me. Uh, that's all it takes because I think I'm going to sit here and let my day pass me by and I'm not going to do nothing. I can't do that. <laughs> That's, that really has never been me. Uh, it has been me if I've uh, got depressed uh, for around a day or two when I sat there and thinking, oh gosh, but no, um, yeah, I, I want to live this life on this earth and I want to uh, experience uh, what there is to experience because once I'm gone, I'm, I won't have all these experiences anymore here. Um, you have a lot of energy um, Jonas, your post, your contact on the Facebook. Um, yeah, and it's, it's, it is really nice out right now. And, you know, I have not camped out at all since we've lived here in the, since 2004. Not one single time in our yard. Uh, and I could, uh, but I, I really want to do that. So I need to make that happen. And if I'm worried about the mosquitoes, I've got a tent that has like a screen on it. I could do that. Yeah. Um, I really don't like it that, see, you can see the light. I really don't like it that when the camera is turned this way, it's, it's practically all dark. Uh, although there is a star up in the sky and you all can't see it because it is, um, where is that spider web? I have a spider that has been making its webs in various places. See, there's a star up here and you can't even see it. The sky is so dark, um, but it just doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Um, I need to rest. Why do I need to rest? <laughs> I don't know why I need to rest. Uh, when, when I'm tired, I'll rest. I've been more tired than this. I really have. Um, yeah. Well, I am going to go. I am going to go, but I'm not going to rest. I might watch uh, something uh, relaxing and then probably fall to sleep. Yeah. Uh, hello, uh, Chris Archer. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and I wanted to get on here. I did want to get on here. I wanted to show you all that ship, and I, I do like to see you all commenting on here. Even though we can't see each other in person, I think it's important to keep communication going. I really do.
Um, no, we don't got no moon out here yet. Uh, it's hidden in the clouds. Yeah. Um, no, I don't need to relax and I don't need to meditate. <laughs> I do not. I do not need to relax and I don't need to meditate. Can I be me? I'm going to be me. <laughs> I am going to be me. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't want to get round up. I do not. So, yeah, don't tell me I need to relax and I need to meditate. You're going to get me too wound up to even go to bed. <laughs> That's exactly right. Um, yeah. Um, whoo. Yeah. Um, I'm just watching something. Okay, so Rosemary Nichols keeps repeating the word bad, 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 bad. So guess what? I don't know the purpose of that. I really don't. Don't even know the purpose. To me, it's just uh, repetitive, uh, repetitive um, trolling. Unless there was a reason for saying the word bad, 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 bad over and over again, okay? No, don't. Um, so, yeah, that's right. Oh, is she bad? Well, I already put her in timeout. Um, I, I like to put them in timeout first. I don't want to be too wet, but if they're really, if I have someone coming on here who's outright rude, they're going out. <laughs> yeah, that that's exactly right, because uh, that's just distraction uh, to keep other people from even commenting or listening. And it's meant to distract me. So I do know the tactics that they use. I just try to ignore them at times, but then sometimes I don't. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, forgive and you will be forgiven. I like to be a forgiving person and I really do like to look for the best in everyone. I really do, and I'll look, I'll look and look and look to see if I can see the good in someone, uh, especially if I don't want to see the bad. But, you know, sometimes the bad is all you see, and that's very disappointing. Um, I have someone else who has quit commenting, too. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly right. Daughter of the One Music, you're going to join on the Facebook. That's wonderful. Where did the ship go? Did it hang out above you? Uh, it just set in the sky. These ships, they set in the sky, and they watch the people on earth. They watch the people over the cities. Uh, this is what they do. Just park themselves right in the sky, right near a major city, and they set there. And then they watch from their windows. They observe us. Uh, they don't interfere. They just watch. That's all they do. And like... Like my one friend, she was just in the pool and laying on her back on a float, looking up at the sky, and there was this cloud. It was looking like a little puffy, puffy cloud, and she saw a being in it, and she waved, and the, the cloud literally, boom, vanished right before her eyes. Uh, so they, they're just as curious about us as we are them. They really are uh, in the sky. Um... Uh, what do they want? I don't know. They're probably figuring, wondering, what do we want? Why are we looking at them up there? Why are we taking notice of them in the sky now? Because, you know, they probably have been here for hundreds of thousands of years, or maybe they just made their way here. Maybe they, the veil is thinning right now, and we're just now noticing. Um, so maybe that. Uh, well, I'm sure they're laughing at some people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, what about the contacts between the governments? I don't think the government needs to help them hide. I really don't. But I don't think that those uh, planes are up there spraying for nothing. I think there's like a two-fold thing. Spray their poisons. Uh, and hide what's up there in the sky. I think it's, it plays both ways. I really do. And you, you're not hearing no 
official get out there on the news every day and say, hey, did you know what? We have extraterrestrials here. We have uh, people from other worlds that are here on this earth walking amongst us. Hey, would you like to meet them? No, you don't hear no news about that. Uh, none of that. Um, yeah. Whew. So uh, with that being said, I am going to go because now the mosquitoes are biting my feet because I don't have shoes on out here. So, uh, and I don't want to be scratching my feet all night. Um, uh, Daughter of Zion, the chariots are coming to destroy America. Um, maybe, maybe not. I guess time's going to tell uh, when those chariots get here and what are they going to do. Time will tell. It is. Uh, and I'm not going to get on here and <laughs> preach gloom and doom and condemnation. I am not going to do that because I am in no place to do anything like that. I'm not, I'm not God. I don't sit on a throne on high, and I don't know the future. So I'm not going to say that to people. I'm not. Um, and I don't think anyone here on the earth is in the position to say that to the other human beings on the earth. They're not. Uh, they have not been given that authority unless they themselves are coming down from on high <laughs> and i don't think that's happening right now uh, and with that being said i am going to go you all because like i said my feet are itching from those mosquitoes but i hope you all have a, a wonderful evening and it's been good chatting with all of you it, it really has <laughs>